Everyone, I'm Pastor Sean. I'm excited to share the word for the day. Today, we're gonna to be talking about fear and our passage is out of John chapter 20. We're following the disciples of Jesus right after he was taken and crucified. We find that out of fear of the Jewish people who took Jesus and killed him, the disciples locked themselves in a room. This, from the surface, is a pretty reasonable reaction. You have, you have to understand their leader, the man who they thought was going to rule as the king and who they all acknowledged was the son of God, was just brutally tortured and killed before their eyes. To the Jews, Jesus' movement was dangerous to the status quo, and they were willing to do anything they could do to stop it, including murder. So the disciples very reasonably, out of fear, locked themselves away and hid. This is the normal reaction to fear. I mean, a lot of us have fears and phobias, so maybe you understand this. A lot of our fears and phobias are just ways to avoid things. It's our natural reaction to avoid anything that may lead us to death, dying, pain, failure, disappointing others, or apparently having to speak in front of a large crowd. Fear from the outside seems like a good thing. It's a safety measure. It keeps us or even loved ones away from harm, right? Well, the truth of the matter is this. Fear is actually a powerful and crippling tool to get you to do nothing. I don't wanna discount fears here, but when you allow fear to run your life, your life gets steered straight into the ground. I'm not here to discount any medical conditions or phobias, but if you live a fearful life, you know it just makes life chaotic. For anyone suffering from chronic fear, especially you followers of Jesus, he has a message for you. If you have your Bibles, turn to John chapter 20, starting at verse 19. I want to read Jesus' reaction in the face of the disciples' very reasonable fear. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them, and he said this, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his sides. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As a father has sent me, I am sending you. Look, fears make our life noisy. And when we're scared, that little voice in our head tends to get louder and it tends to mul multiply. Don't do this. Don't do that. Did you send that? Did you turn that off? What are they going to think? What if they don't like what I made? What if they don't like me? What if they don't listen? What if someone gets hurt? What if? What if? What if? Peace be with you. Jesus is here to help guide you through and past your fears to do what needs to get done. And now hear me out. Can Jesus help you get past your fear of spiders? Yeah, I think he can. But I think this passage is addressing a specific set of fears that most Christians have and ones that Jesus really wants us to address and get out of our life. Here's what they are. Jesus wants to help us with any fear that may get in the way of sharing the good news that he has for the whole world. I love in this passage how Jesus comes in and just is like, guys, hey, I'm here. Here's the peace, even in the face of your fears. Now take that peace and go into all the world and share the good news I have for them. Jesus doesn't just give us peace to continue sitting at home. Jesus gives us his peace so we can go and share that peace. So church, what sort of things are scaring you from sharing the good news right now? Is it fear of people, rejection, judgment? Is it fear of failure? Take this one with a grain of salt. Is it fear of death? Whatever has you scared to share the gospel message, Jesus has an abundance of peace to give you. So you can go out and do the good work that he has prepared you for. Ultimately, Jesus wants to transform you with his peace from living in fear to actually living and thriving and accomplishing the most important mission we have been given here on this earth. My hope is you'll trust Jesus today to cast out your fears so you can live in peace and on mission. Have a good day, church.